The city is not defenseless, but the Muslims and their allies are still outgunned. And at dusk, we watched as the Serbs were, in effect, walking their mortar fire across Sarajevo and onto the old town. It and its people are being mercilessly ground down. A hotel here was struck for the third time last night. This woman, who has lost her son, saved her grandchildren by sending them to the cellar just 10 minutes before the attack. I don't know where else to go, she says. She has spent every night for the last three months in a shelter underground. A few people today were above ground, going about their business amid the mortar fire. But their business is survival. They are trapped in the city and they have no thought of surrender. We're all united here to, to fight for the freedom of our state. And even the children in the ground school know what's going on here. In previous times, there's always been some hope of mediation. Either the European community observers were here or the United Nations. Now the EC observers have gone away and the UN has suspended all activity until 48 hours passes without any fighting. 48 hours, there's hardly five minutes here. Martin Bell, BBC News, Sarajevo.